29 березня працює медіац. Today is March 29, Ukraine Media Center Ukraine Forum starts its operation. My name is Vasil Samakvalov and we will be talking about the pensions now. In order to receive pensions, first you have to pay something for that. And not everybody can make it today. Someone is unable to make it and how to help it. We will be talking about that with our guests today. So visiting us today is Oksana Zhalnovich, Minister of the Social Policy of Ukraine, Yulia Sokolovska, Deputy Head of the Office of the President of Ukraine, and Yevhen Kapinos, Chairman of the Board of the Pension Fund of Ukraine. So let's start with Ms. Yulia, who will tell us what the problem is and how it should be solved. Please. Thank you very much. Good morning, dear Ukrainians, dear participants we would like to share the information about the new digital instrument today using it you can voluntarily contribute to the pension fund of ukraine using their online platform so based on our pension needs today and everything that people do for this th there are such uh, phenomena as indexations as pay disbursements in the deoccupied territories. Now we're trying to create some digital non-standard instruments which could support each other, which would help us support each other and support some charity initiatives and other mechanisms for support. As we know, to get pension in the solidarity system, we all need the insurance track record and insurance contributions. And today, in a portal of the pension fund, we will be talking about this in detail. There is a new instrument that allows you, using a couple of clicks, to make that insurance contribution to whom it may be of interest. In fact, that option is more for the people who are not pensioners yet. For example, the people who left abroad, they have some income there. However, they want to have pension in Ukraine, they need to have the service record in Ukraine, so they may use those instruments that we will be talking about today. And people who are a little bit below pension age, they, they just lack a little bit of service record and they can in fact buy that time. And another category is the people who get small wages now while working and with such voluntary contribution they may increase the amount of the future pension because the amount of your salary also influences the amount of your future pension well how it works it's very simple i recommend everybody to get familiarized with that i visited the portal today it's just a couple of clicks you sign an agreement and you make a contribution according to the amount you wish and, and then the system automatically may work to credit that contribution on a regular basis to your personal record. My colleagues will tell you more in detail about that. Also today we will be talking about the charity contributions for pension fund or some specific pensioners, they may be personalized or non-personalized. That option might be interesting for big businesses, big international organizations that want to contribute to this area of charity today to support the people of older age in Ukraine. I would like to pass the microphone to my colleagues for the details. Yes, we have two aspects. We have the story of how it was developed and the story about how it will be implemented. So first, let's see how it was developed. I know that you, Ms. Oksana, you have the presentation here. Yeah, please, can we put the presentation on the screen? Good morning, dear colleagues. I would like to continue telling you about the new instruments and new opportunities for our people, specifically for those people who plan to get their pensions or already get it the challenges of war they make us change approaches to the regular things we worked on those instruments for a long time since summer in a joint team with the pension fund with the parliament and the office of the president we developed the draft law 
which was already passed through a number of regions and we developed a mechanism that we think it should be interesting no matter how non-standard it looks like and it's the first time when we offer the whole society to uh, contribute to the support of our pensioners but this passionate nature that was developed with the society lately when we see huge donations for different purposes for different organizations we understand that today the, the, the way the solidar pension system is made, everybody who works pays 22% from their salary, which are being credited as the, as the pension contribution for a future pension. However, later on that money is being disseminated among the existing pensioners. We understand that the number of working population in Ukraine decreased lately, Many such people left with their families abroad. However, unfortunately, people of the pension age, the elder ones, it doesn't really matter whether they are outside Ukraine or still here. We continue to pay pensions to them. We continue to fulfill our obligations in front of them. We continue to accrue the money for them from that joint pool and those are not so big amounts of money that we would like to pay out however from this year we indexed certain pensions for, for some of them it was 19.5 percent of indexation it would help to equal equalize the situation with lower pensions however there are still pensions below 3000 hryvnia and those categories of pensioners who, due to maybe short service record or lower contributions, for whom that amount does not allow to cover their basic needs, there are international organizations, there are donors who understand the challenges for such people. They can contribute in an easy and simple way to cover a part of the expenses for the people they would like to support the law simplifies the mechanism that we approved and now in compliance with this law there are subsequent regulations being developed and we may start with replenishing those instruments or implementing them so please get involved contribute as Ms. Yulia mentioned visit our website it's interactive just a couple of clicks without bureaucracy without paperwork no visits to any organizations you just increase your service record and that increase is significant. I want to s tell you to what extent it increases the calculation for your future pension. But at the same time, today already it helps those pensioners who get pensions because it increases the total number of income that helps us to get it redistributed about existing pensioners. You can even do it from abroad if you get some social support financing there or your salary is non-official so you can later on receive normal pension while working uh, even while working abroad or if you w work in ukraine and you would like to increase your pension contribution on a monthly basis you can increase that sum and Based on that sum, on that bigger amount, your pension will be increased relevantly in future. Also, the donor support, it may be personalized or non-personalized to the joint personalized, to the joint solidar pension system. So to make this process automatic, you have to be signed up, you have to be registered on the system you have to undergo the primary verification and then through your personal account all those options will become very convenient for you and people who already are pensioners they cannot use the mechanism for increase of their service record because they are already pensioners they already get money from that fund well obviously we need an agreement you, you can sign it with your digital signature through DR application or ID bank. 
it may be administered through web portal miss you can will tell you more in detail about that do you have to report on that no there are no additional requirements the payment is on a monthly basis and it will be automatically credited to your account it will automatically increase the amounts accrued for your pension and there are no additional reports required for any organizations or agencies how do we work here is an example if according to the agreement you add 2000 hryvnias per month the calculation of your monthly salary will be more than 9000 hryvnia it's a nor not bad increase for to your of your salary every hundred hryvnias that you add to your service record if you have it or you pay it as your service record they increase your salary almost 500 hryvnias so those are the main key details that i would like to have emphasized i would like to invite everybody to get involved because there are different circumstances that don't allow us to cover our monthly periods but the most effective instrument in the world is the solidary pension system we will have accumulation system when people will pay funds to their personal account but that's a lengthy reform that is complicated at involves different financial instruments such as investing and is possible after our victories so during wartime we can also improve the condition of our pensioners today and increase our opportunities to receive this the increased pension from solidary fund today already thanks to the instruments that we implement today well we proceed from the theory to practice so please put the presentation on the screen good morning dear colleagues i'm happy to be invited here to see everybody here when we started discussing that issue those were times when we were understanding that many people were relocated they were unable to make contributions for themselves some of the businesses couldn't make pension contributions so we brought up the issue that under conditions like like this we have to help the people we have to support them with some additional opportunity and one of the first tasks that was set by the president and to the ministry of social policy was to implement the mechanism which would be simple and convenient for every single citizen of ukraine that's why it was offered to make it in such a system that would that would el eliminate the necessity to walk around the government offices agencies and organizations and would enable you from any spot on the planet to enter the portal and to make relevant payments to gu guarantee that people would have necessary necessary amounts accrued in future so that they spend their pension time with dignity That's why we adopted the relevant law and the relevant regulations are being developed. Their development is underway, so you can see it in the presentation. We made it possible to enable the voluntary contributions so you enter your personal account. You can create it with different uh, modes of uh, self-verification like bank id digital signature or dia application all of those opportunities that people are already using now many people already use dia and they have this option to, they may use this option to identify themselves so they and enter the portal and there there are no further complications no complicated complicated changes to be made they only have to pick the tab to enter into agreement on the voluntary participation a voluntary contribution so in this step 
people should pick whether they pay for themselves or they pay for someone else. If they pay for themselves, the data is being compiled automatically, they are being pulled by the system and people may see all the identifiers that are necessary for themselves. If they pay for someone else, they need to add the information like first name, family name and patronymic, passport details and thus they may identify the people for whom they make contributions. After that, the, there is a payment made. We were offered two ways of payments. First of all, through portmonnaie, when you may transfer funds from your payment card or to create some payment details and pay through the through a bank branch depending on how you wish it to be made and the funds will be credited directly to the accounts of the pension fund and distributed in the personal account in the portal according to the periods during which the contributions were made if an amount is above the maximum allowable amount per month they will be re redistributed in a couple of months and it will be mentioned that people make contributions for the maximum contributions that could be paid out of the salary of the ukrainian citizens other option is the voluntary contribution it's a charity contribution many people are currently in very difficult conditions that's why we decided to offer an option when any random person without identification may enter the portal of the pension fund and make a donation to a personalized donation to somebody or to the solidar system of pension insurance and thus forwarding funds to the solidar pension system if such random person if such donor makes a contribution which is personalized that person receives 70 percent of that donated amount and other 30 percent go for funding are forwarded for funding of the whole pension system under conditions like this it allows us to make address addressed payments personalized payments to certain pensioners whom some organizations or other people want to finance and there is no need for mandatory verification who the donor is. What are the results that we have for the time being regardless the fact that the system was just launched there was no active campaign I mean the information campaign today more than 100 people already made voluntary contributions I would like to mention that one such person paid more than 100,000 hryvnias and it's a five month accrual from the maximum salary is the same as if they were making joint social contribution on more than 100,000 hryvnias of the salary. As to the donors, the donorship is not is not as widespread and popular today as the mode used previously it's on, it was only nine people but I think more and more people will get involved further on to help the people in these difficult to help our pensioners under difficult conditions like this I would like to add just a couple of words so we're in fact talking about simplification of the additional mechanisms we had this opportunity to add to your service record before or you could voluntarily sign up for disbursements but today's instruments they are digitalized they're simplified for the people they show that the those services are becoming po popular already it's nice to hear that we did not publicly announce this option yet it's only being tested but people already started using it there are already people who understand that this is the easiest mechanism to support themselves to help themselves to have better pension or to 
help themselves covered with some payments in future in a simplified way. We would like to see more donor pensions, but it's only a matter of time, matter of uh, communication, and our meeting today may be a push to make that second instrument more popular throughout the public. Or maybe it was done by some people who work with the pension fund, probably, or your ministry. So I have a question. Well, first of all, who are the main recipients or the target audience of this service? How do you evaluate in number of people and in amount of money? And if we solve some problem, it means that this problem exists. So what was the problem that emerged due to the number of people who left abroad? Again, in amounts of money and in numbers of people. Well, everything is okay with the budget of the pension fund. Now there is no gap. There is a lot of myth that our pension fund is underfinanced. It lacks funding. There are some injections from the state budget, but it's not always true because the pension fund disburses solidary pension contributions and state pensions too. For example, disbursements to the army servicemen and the judges, those pensions are being calculated under a different procedure and it's the state who is the payer of such disbursements from the very beginning. So the government should act in cooperation with the pension fund for disbursements to certain categories of pensioners. But what the situation shows us now, it's no secret to anybody that our military who currently protect us in the front lines, in our borders from the aggressor, they, they receive good salaries from which they pay pension contributions. So at the same funds, at the same time, our defend our military are also defenders of our pensioners because those payments helped us to make normal indexation during this month. So, from the point of view of current disbursements of the payment uh, pension fund, they are all forecasted, and it all happens thanks to the fact that we received more than one million people with the clear, transparent salaries who paid their pension contributions. It's a good example for businesses because if everybody pays the joint social contribution fairly like at, at the level of 22 percent there are 13 million insured people only one million so based on the example of this one million we were able to stabilize the situation with the pension fund so if everybody does so all the 13 million the opportunities of the pension fund would increase respectively and our pensioners would be a lot more protected but we understand that through due to some things like distrust the employers are not always interested to increase that pension contribution this is why we gave this opportunity to the employer themselves we don't ask them how do they make their money we don't ask them where they make their money but we now give them the option to provide them with good pension and we show all the society that such payment is something that supports our society today it equalizes the opportunities for our pensioners and it and it gives us the opportunity to support them okay so getting back to my question do we have a number of people who left abroad how many people paid or did not pay the contribution before well up to seven million people left abroad the vast majority of them are of capable age part of them keeps uh, making insurance con insurance contribution they keep working but as to the dynamics maybe Ms. Denis will, Mr. Denis will add something. Well, at the beginning of the warfare, there was a fall in the number of the insured individual. Well, not uh, about the individuals, but uh, it's more about the organizations, the businesses. But talking about the situation today, a situation got equalized recently, and we are now at the same level as a pre-war time. But again, I want to 
repeat what Ms. Minister mentioned, under conditions like this, if we take this real situation, we have absolutely balanced forecast for the next year and all of our disbursements are future disbursements are covered with current proceeds thanks to the fact that we received a significant number we have significant significant number of people here who make payments at high levels so our prospects look quite bright and at this specific example we may see that we tend more to have those mechanisms used by the people who for example left abroad today who are under conditions where they cannot make relevant financing because they cannot come back to Ukraine and work officially under conditions like this they are provided with mechanisms that they may use while well, talking about the amounts for the time being it's a little bit too early to make some specific evaluation but even seeing the, those figures that our portal didn't work for a long time but we already have an, a certain number of people who have used it already so we can forecast that this service will be in demand in future and I'm convinced that everybody understands clearly that today many people can make additional payments but it's not always when the employer is interested to make high contributions however people understand that they personally want to receive good pension and this is why they want to contribute themselves well miss Yulia wants to add something yeah I would like to add a couple of things in the context context of your question well this instrument also gives us the opportunity to connect with our people abroad as a country we want our people to come back and this is the instrument that would allow us to to maintain that emotional connection the financial connection connection with the older age and plans for the future in Ukraine obviously we try to do everything that we can in all the fronts to make people come back and this is one of the components of such connection another thing is when we were thinking about that instrument when we were designing it we were thinking about a couple of things first of all is the period of donorship of volunteership it's uh, unprecedented in Ukraine and helping to our current to existing pensioners now because we pay out the pensions from these current contributions this is how we pay ourselves in future because in our philosophy it's a win-win history today we help we help paying pensions to the pensioners of today and further on someone will help you to get your normal pension so there is also a scientific research component to this instrument I work a lot with the international organizations which work all across the world and the studies within decades they prove that there are no 100 percent transparent salaries all around the world a part of the sectors are still working in the shadow even in some progressive countries yes even in some progressive countries it's a fact it's not an assumption there are progressive countries I was for example taking part in a number of meetings and they focus the attention of the authorities in those countries so that they create the instruments using which pe people may help themselves to add contributions to their future pension and that became one of the factors why we made that instrument because even the progressive world is moving towards recognition of the shadow sector it, it exists it doesn't go anywhere yes it becomes smaller but it doesn't go away during decades 
Thank you very much. Do we have questions on the floor? Good morning, Yulia Bakumova, Ukraine Forum. I like the statement by Ms. Oksana that the instrument of adding, adding the service record is existing in Ukraine. Do we have the information about how many people have already used it and what are the terms for such adding? For what I know, the term that your pension service record can be increased is from one and up to five years. Well, I would like to first of all mention that the first instrument that was working before that, it was for adding, for buying, actually, for buying time, for buying years for within your previous record, because that mechanism allowed you to make payment for a person who works now, and that payment would be relevant in the same way as the business which finances the joint social contribution. The mechanism which existed before was for the people who were lacking service record before transition to pension. If we take it in time periods, I cannot say that many people were using that mechanism. In fact, people were buying it in case they were lacking like two to three years, but average was half a year. It was a weighted average for the category of people who were using that mechanism, but in, in the majority under conditions like this, there are certain requirements for the service record when people become pensioners. People were waiting just for some time as they before they retire, and they they before they were realizing that they are lacking up to half a year of pension record. That was a different mechanism. The one that is offered now is it is different in another way. So the, the previous one was saying that you were working until certain age and you're still lacking some, you have some gap in your service record and this is how you may buy this gap, this is how you may cover it and this previous mechanism, it was so to say not quite convenient because you had, it, it, it was meaning that you have to go to the tax administration to enter into an agreement with them and only upon that you were you, you would have been able to finance that time gap then now we reverted it we understand that now people end up in a circumstance when they cannot get some payment which would allow them to contribute to the pension fund so people can may do it themselves they don't have to go to a pension fund or other government agencies or administrations they just go to their account online in the with the pension fund and they understand that their pension contribution may be at, at the level of the maximum maximum salary within certain period of time so it's convenient it's easy and people are not tied to some specific area they may do it from any spot in the world where they are at this moment and they know that as they retire they will have an opportunity to get their normal pension well i think that the philosophy is different here the previous mechanism was to cover some lost opportunities the opportunities lost in the past but now so it's like now you're a pensioner and you, you're already retired and you still have to pay some amount to cover some gap in your service record. In some, in some cases it was impossible because some people who were not working enough and they still want to have some pension, pension they still have to have some savings. And in this case, we offer people to plan their pension, buy it 
month by month it's way easier it's way more convenient and it allows people to look in the future meanwhile they're active they are capable of working they can regulate their income in a number of ways and they can provide an increased record for themselves helping other pensioners so this is a different philosophy well and one more commentary if I may just to add to my response this uh, the, there are two mechanisms existing at the moment so the mechanism when you can plan your future it's about this existing mechanism and another is when people retire and they don't they still have some gaps in their service records to get good pension and this is when you have to physically go to tax administration to physically enter into agreement and there are some ratios that uh, according to which the pension is being calculated for the past periods and you may buy more time of your service records so this mechanism already works uh, again it's different philosophies that use different instruments okay so i would like to ask for details the calculation of the pension is quite a complicated process and some time passes before those pensions are being calculated for people there are some months missing from the record and from uh, based on, on this new instrument to what extent is the mechanism simplified for example me as a working person may i calculate my pension how much will i get in future thank you it's a very good question really for a long time the question was how much my pension will be so when we were working on the mechanisms of additional payment to what people make we were understanding that people need to have some clear forecast about how much they will be getting so whether it's worth doing or not so as you enter your personal account you can see the pension calculator on top of the screen and so today the pension calculator is a forecast of how much people will get if they stop working today if they stop work if they stop making the social contributions or otherwise people may add the details about how much they are they intend to pay in future on a monthly basis and they will see the amount of pension they will get in future there are there were a number of iterations of this calculator and the, the one posted on the website it includes a number of mechanisms first mechanisms first of all the system generates the information from the registers of the insured persons based on the pay payments that people made since the years 2000 and it brings up the salary that people used to have and it uses the real indicators that that may be used in calculations of the pension that people will have and further on it allows adding more indicators how much people intend how much people plan to pay and based on that they may see the amount of pension they are about to see because the algorithm of calculation is is using the system that is used for calculation of real pensions in the pension fund it's not an abstract calculation is the real system that is used for calculation of pensions according to the law in effect so any person may go to their personal account and see all those indicators to see what will be their pension in future given their given their monthly payments yes i, I would like also to add a couple of words in this pension cabinet in this pension account you see your how many months were accrued for you in your different places of work 
for example when i was looking through my service record there there were some periods that were not accounted the, it give, gave me some clear picture already now it, i didn't have to wait for the moment when i retire and for the final calculation today i have instruments that allow us to understand our current service record what we've already made by our monthly contributions and to calculate what is still necessary to be done so we get some payment and obviously we keep moving forward and those services that we offer now they are innovative and they can be desired options even for our foreign partners because not all of them have some such options as we do <laughs> well a couple more words i would like to emphasize that today uh, w what was said th th there are requirements to the service record but there are also requirements about the labor books the digital labor books today pension fund creates the joint database for all the labor books and the employers they are ob obliged to submit to submit their labor books for all their employees or the people the employees can do it themselves the scan copy is being digitalized and there is such a phenomena as a digital labor book for the time being it prevails over the paper labor book and we make all the accruals based on that so i invite all the employers to submit the electronic labor books because the period for such submission is only five years and it also allows the employees to have their service record digitalized the register was implemented back in 2000 in year 2000 and it allows us to fully calculate the contributions made within that period and before year 2000 the the paper labor book should be digitalized and it may be added to the details that based on which the calculator makes its pension calculations so any person now can go online go get into their account to see all their places of employment and see all the necessary procedures that for accrual of pensions they only will be limited to the fact that the people will have all the pension calculated based on the calculations from the pension fund all in the matsuiska one plus one well let's imagine the situation a person was forced to live abroad they were uh, working legally transparently and fairly here in ukraine they were paying contributions they left abroad but were unable to find job there they they get some financial support it's kind of income but it's only to support their existence so in that case how should they express themselves for those social contributions what is the threshold amount the minimal amount so that a person pays some minimal am amount and they uh, th that amount is being calculated is is being credited as contribution and w again please remind me what are the minimal ages for for retirement for men and women well there is no such indicator as minimal level of payment in this mechanism people identify themselves how much they want to pay whether they want to pay 100 hryvnias or 200 or as I mentioned there was a payment in amount of 100,000 hryvnias it all depends on the people so so 2000 to 2400 2400 hryvnias is the minimal amount of payment the, this is what it says about the normal minimal monthly payment so if there are some funds being credited they will be credited in any amount that people wish them to be credited but it will be broken down into month based on the maximum amount paid for month 
Well, well, I, I will, I, I will explain it in more simple words. So, so everything, everything will be credited. Everything will be credited proportionally, pro rata. So you, you have to pay twenty two percent of the, of the minimal wage. So it's fourteen hundred hryvnia. So if you want, if for anybody who is abroad, so check check the minimal wage and count twenty, calculate twenty two percent out of that amount. So 22% allows you to cover the full month, but if you don't have such an amount, pay any amount and that month will be credited for you pro rata. So if, for example, you pay below 1400, you will have a half month credited. There is no threshold amount, but the calculation will be made based on the general rules, based on your service record. And if I'm not mistaken, the women require 30 years of service record and the, for men is 35 years. Another question, please, Alexander Kosyak, Ukrainian radio. All those things that are being made, they are real cool. I don't know whether there are practices like that throughout the world, but I agree with my colleague. I don't understand a lot of things. I don't understand, for example, we work 35 years, 40 years, 50 years. Well, depending on our health conditions, then we retire and we have some financial resource, some financial provision, and I have to receive it in parts, sometimes in some insignificant parts, because not all of the pensioners are happy to retire because because uh, their pension is not equal to their good salaries is are there any plans for some changes we know about the examples of some countries you just make savings only then you retire and only then you can use those funds from your from your savings but as you die your children can use your savings do we plan any reforms in this regard thank you Yes, yes, there is a relevant draft law in uh, the parliament. It's complicated. It's real complicated, uh, specifically in the view of the martial law. We're discussing the details because the savings pension system, it contemplates every amount that you pay into your account to increase its value because it should work for the economy so that in future when you retire those money is enough to cover the purchasing capacity it carries so i want to draw your attention to a number of aspects first of all the solidary part of the pension system it exists in many countries of europe because it's easily forecasted and it's better guaranteed than the savings system nobody throughout the world can can one can make a 100 guarantee 100 insurance for investment risks because it's the entrepreneurship you may lose your money there so the solidarity system is the best it's most secure f against all the negative consequences negative factors for example 10 years ago no one could calculate for a factor of war does it allow us to say no that the invested funds will will be profitable at their 30 percent rate of inflation no you cannot equalize that story it's been equalized within 20 or 30 years this is why saving savings pension system is is loan money and another thing i would like to draw everyone's attention to that in no place in the world savings system is being considered as the way to make profit the profit is real small there the profit margin there are reinsurance instruments and usually only those with the lower risk are being picked for pension funds so we plan the this saving system we were discussing the design of it the, its model and again 
the voluntary the voluntary pension contribution system exists there now there are companies who advertise themselves well at this market they receive contributions at the level that cover the inflation for the time being and those people who are ready to invest in in their older age they can get this personalized investment account meanwhile the solidar system it covers all the cases for example if you pay minimum th this threshold amount now it's a guaranteed system which is being covered by the state and if we distribute the insurance amounts now insurance contribution it would be difficult but the now that the government helps to support it people may survive on that solidar pension so those are the components that i'm sure will work after the war the solidary system savings system mandatory savings and voluntary savings system yes but may i ask when the pensions will be uh, a little bit higher when people expect when will they reach some normal level i have many pensioner friends my parents are pensioners they when as they get their pensions they are happy within one day and further on they just survive they they make their utility payments they pay for their food and then whoever everybody survives however they can so this solidar system is a joint wallet all of the ukrainians are being are con contributing to it the funds are being only distributed for our pensioners the pension contributions in the pension system they are not being forwarded to the pensions of the judges that are being paid at the expense of the state budgets the pension contributions are being redistributed only among the regular pensioners and it's customary for us to think that we may decrease our pension contribution because it doesn't influence anything it's not related to the fact that it doesn't influence the pensions that our parents receive the, the, this is why we see those low pensions if we would be able to pay as much as our military now do we would have this opportunity to pay a lot higher pensions and this instrument for example that we present to you today it allows the employee to get better pension in future because in the case their employer wants to make a way around the pension fund the, the employees may equalize the situation by themselves so what i see it only it will work if people believe in the solidar system that you were talking about but many experts say that the solidar system doesn't have future in view of the future economy of the economic forecasts in view of current demographic situations so how should we convince the people to make this contribution to convince them that solidarity system has future for, for people who make good salaries for example in IT sector how should we convince them to take care about their future well we're not new in this process there are countries that went all the way from the rejection of solidarity system and tradition to savings system there are examples of how the savings system crashed so we have a lot of analytic information that proves that solidar system will exist forever it will be the most stable instrument forever so if us as the, as the citizens we trust in our state we have to trust in the guarantees provided by the state so solidar system is the system guaranteed by the government so talking about its incapacity it's not quite correct in why way in one way or another it will continue existing independently of the state it's easier to stab stabilize than the saving system which is only a market mechanism so oh okay we're now convinced that uh, the pensions will be so we will be wrapping up our next briefing is at 1500 and we will be talking about not pensions but art see you shortly